House Republicans have formally launched an impeachment inquiry into President Biden, and a Georgia appeals court will hear arguments today involving a controversial law enforcement training facility in Atlanta. Good morning. I'm Corva Coleman from NPR News, and here are today's top stories. The House has voted to formally begin an impeachment inquiry against President Biden. NPR's Mara Liason reports. In a statement, President Biden called the impeachment vote a baseless political stunt and said instead of funding Ukraine's fight against Russia or Israel's fight against terrorists or more security for the U.S. southern border, Republicans are leaving town for a month. Republicans say that Biden and his family engaged in influence peddling and took payments from foreign adversaries, but so far they have not presented any clear evidence to back up those allegations. Mara Liason, NPR News, Washington. White House National Security Advisor Jake Sullivan is going to Israel today. He will reiterate the Biden administration's call to Israel to do more to protect Palestinian civilians in Gaza as it battles Hamas militants. Sudan, Gaza, and South Sudan are at the top of the list of world emergencies. That's according to the aid group, the International Rescue Committee. NPR's Michelle Kellerman reports the group says growing political fragmentation makes it hard to resolve these conflicts. Every year, the International Rescue Committee puts out a watch list of countries that are likely to be in the most need of aid. The IRC's president, David Miliband, says there were a lot of changes this year. Most striking to me is that countries like Ukraine, Syria, Yemen and Afghanistan have all dropped out of the top 10. Uh, This is mainly because other countries have got worse. Sudan is now at the top of the list as that country's army battles a rival paramilitary group in a conflict that has uprooted millions of people. The IRC says Israel's war against Hamas has made Gaza the deadliest place for civilians in the world. Michelle Kellerman, NPR News, the State Department. A Georgia appeals court is hearing a case today involving a controversial public safety training center in Atlanta. There's an effort underway to call a city referendum on whether to halt construction of the project. The court is hearing a challenge on whether the process to gather petition signatures for the referendum was valid. From member station WABE, Shemaine Cruz has more. State law says the petitioners witnessing signatures must be registered Atlanta voters and meet a 60-day deadline. But opponents of so-called Cop City say they faced a tighter time crunch because of delays caused by the city clerk's office. A federal judge later granted them an extension and ruled that non-Atlanta residents could also witness signatures. The city of Atlanta appealed that decision, pausing its enforcement. And it says it can't begin counting the thousands of signatures that were submitted in support of the referendum petition until it receives clarity from the court. It also argues the petition would illegally cancel the contract for the training center. For NPR News, I'm Shemaine Cruz in Atlanta. This is NPR.